Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the national final of Swim Ireland's Smartest Family. We look forward to an exciting even, evening and given how competition, competitive of the regional qualifiers were, I suspect we are in for a close, tough final. We have eight rounds tonight with five multiple choice questions. Each family has 15 seconds to answer. There are po no points. There are more points for faster responses and no points for an incorrect answer. In the event of a tiebreaker for any of the top three places, we have one question shout out between the tied families. Over to you, Beth. So we've got some exciting prizes, guys. You might have remembered from last weekend. So our third prize today, so our third place prize will be a 250 euro voucher to Tato Park, which we'll all be dying to get to once we can get out into the real world. The second place will receive a 500 euro voucher for swimkit.ie. So you can get your swim kit or your swim capes on, get down to the beach, start some debates with the dry rovers, uh, or get some new swimsuits for getting back into the pool. And then our first place prize will be a thousand euro voucher to Centre Parks Ireland, which is a fab indoor water um, park in Longford. So there's definitely a lot up for grabs. If anyone's watching on YouTube, please send in your messages of support for any of the families and we'll give you a nice shout out uh, as we go through. So you can just do that by commenting on the video on YouTube. I'll pass you over to Andy. All right, teams, how are we doing? Welcome, welcome. So let's, uh, let's meet our finalists tonight, starting with the families from Connacht. So I've got a gallery view here on the Zoom call, so I can see about maybe 20 families per page. So when I shout your name, or when I introduce the families, I want you to all put your hands up so I can see where you're at. Okay, so starting off from the families from Connacht, welcome to the Walsh family. We're the Walsh family. Let me see the hands. There we go. Next family up, the Walsh family are from Ballina Dolphins and the Doherty's are from Carrick Finns. So the Doherty's and the Walsh family. We have two families representing Laser tonight. That's the Blanchards and the Matters. And the Madigans are representing Longford and the Conways are flying the flag for the Tribes Water Polo Club. Trident Swim Club have three families in the final tonight. Well done to the O'Grady, Ryan and Quinn families. There we go, O'Grady, Trident. I see the handle, that good stuff. And then finally for Connick, welcome to the Mooney family from Toom. Nice place. That's where my mom's from, from Baladocha out near Toom. So good connection. So special good luck to the Mooney family from Toom. All right, over to you, Gronje. Thanks, Andy. And I don't know if anybody remembers, but Andy uh, is just joined us quite late. Uh, so thanks a million for showing your face, Andy. We'll now move on to the Leinster finalists. So we have two families from Aer Lingus. So welcome to the Doyles and the Winston family. Again, there we have the Doyles. Have we got the Winstons there as well? We do. Uh, well, well done to the O'Loughlin Brophy family who represent Cool Mine and are in the final as well. We also have the Whittaker family from ESB. I think we, we have them as well. Uh, representing Glenalba Masters are the Byrne family. Um, the Luby family from Half Moon. I know the Luby's done brilliant last weekend. And then we also have the Moore family from Leash Marlins. The Campbell family from Trojan. Do we have them? We do. And then the Morin family from Terranure. There we have the Morins. They're going wild there. So welcome to everybody. Back over to you, Beth. Okay, so... From Munster, we've got the O'Sullivans from Black Rock. How you doing? Lots of hands waving, awesome. Then Clonmel are represented by the Killen and the O'Mahony families, hello. <laughs> um, welcome to the Harrington family from Ken Mare. Hi. Uh, and then we have the Murphys from Limerick. How you all doing? Uh, then we've got representing Mallow Swans, we have the Harris family. <laughs> uh, 
And then we are joined by the Wilmot family from Splash World Sharks. Awesome. <laughs> Very energetic. Uh, and then we have, representing Sunday's well, we have the Deezies, Fars and Walls. How are we all doing? Nice to see you. Okay, who, who have we got from Ulster, Andy? You're muted. <laughs> Andy? You're muted. <laughs> Sorry about that. Technical difficulty. <laughs> I think this is my second Zoom in the whole of the last year. Not really, uh, not really up to up. You up must to. be the only one, Andy. No, I think so. <laughs> okay, so uh, introducing the families from Ulster, Beth. I was just saying, obviously, our home province. <laughs> um, that's where it all starts. Starting that, you know, learn to swim, then up to age group, then into representing Ulster, and then it goes to Ireland, and then up, 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 up. So that's <laughs> the goals for all those swimmers out there. So welcome to the Mallet family from the city of Derry. And the Cray family from, I hope I'm getting this right, Kulkulian. I hope I got that right. I'm not too sure. Representing the Enniskillen Lake Landers, we have the James family. The Brennan McCann family represent the Cole Swimming Club. Then we have three families representing Lisburn City. Also very close to another host here tonight, Beth Carson. So welcome to the Bracken, Branco, and the McGlashan families. From Barnes, we have the O'Hara family, and then the McGills from Newry. And then rounding out the Ulster qualifiers are the McNeil family from Portadown and the O'Boyles from Swilly Seals. So welcome to all our finalists tonight, and best of luck to you all this evening. You've all done fantastic to get this far into the final. So looking forward to a good night of quiz, good night of action. I'll hand you back over to Gronny you now to get the quiz underway. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, good luck, good luck. So just before we go to the quiz, I have to give a massive shout out to the Perrys there from Kilkenny. So the Perry families are also from Leinster who are on board. Just a reminder, guys, if you haven't got your cameras on, please turn them on before we go into the into the final. So I know some of you might internet connections and all that jazz, but make sure you really try and have your camera on. So I'm going to share my screen and get the quiz underway. Everyone see that? Perfect, so is everybody ready to get the quiz underway? Do you have 36? We have 36 uh, joined at the moment. If you want, just make sure that your phones are working. If not, we'll just give it maybe one or two seconds before we get underway. There's some more people joining, 37. Okay, so best of luck. We're gonna kick off the quiz. So what is the largest internal organ in the human body? Get ready. So you, the lungs, the liver, or the brain? So remember, the faster you answer, the more points you get. Oh, well done. So we have 22 people who said liver. Unfortunately, uh, whoever said lungs and brain, it's the incorrect answer. The 22 people who said liver are correct. Moving on to the second question. So as Beth said, make sure to get your answers in as quick as possible. The faster you are, the more points you get. What color is Barney, the dinosaur's friend, Riff? Orange, green, or blue? Never even heard of Riff. <laughs> Why did I actually? <laughs> I'm going to go with green, but I think it's wrong. She may be wrong, folks. <laughs> oh, 20 people wrong. trusted you, Grania. <laughs> they trusted you. <laughs> I did say I could have been wrong. So 20 people said orange. That's correct. 20 people said green. Sorry, incorrect. And blue is also incorrect. So orange is the correct answer so maybe going forward don't trust any of the answers i say maybe beth or andy might be better on to the third question what is kenofia a fear of probably pronounced that name wrong as well space time or grass andy Bree, do you have do you know this answer wow <laughs> Chronomophobia? I, I don't even know if I'm getting that right. I feel like time. 
But again, I do not yeah. know the answer. Kronos, Kronos, the god of time. Oh, yeah. There, <gasps> there you go, go Beth. Yeah. I'm with the majority, folks. You got it. So 40 people are correct. 41 actually with Beth. And then, unfortunately, space and grass are the wrong answers. So I suppose on. chronological is like numbers. Chronological, yeah, and then definitely Kronos. Mm. Well done. Well done. No. On to our fourth question. What does the Richter scale measure? Mm -hmm. So the Richter scale. Volcanoes, hurricanes, or earthquakes? Do you know, Andy? Yep. Yeah, I know this one. I think everyone should know this one. Yes. Very good. Well done. So that's our first question that we've got 41 people getting correct, which is great. Well done. And on to our final score, our final question of this round before the, our first leaderboard of the night. Name the only planet in our solar system not named after God. Oh, that is a good oh, God. Oh. Earth, Mars, or Jupiter. By God, they're fast. Yeah, you'll need to be. Ulster were quick last weekend. They were super quick. So they're getting in in under 10 seconds, which is great. Yeah. Earth That's is the right. correct answer. So 38 people got Earth. And then Jupiter and Mars, unfortunately, is the wrong answer. So our first leaderboard of the night. So I'll hand this over to you, Beth. How are we all doing? So remember, we want to stay in those top three to get our hands on the prize. So at the minute, we've got the Burns from Glen Alvin, top spot. Nice. Whitaker's ESB in second. And the Doherty's in third. Oh, Winston's, come on, you're just there. Boys, you've had prep now to this, so I'm expecting big things from you guys. <laughs> um, so that's the top, top three, all pretty close. 430 yeah. down to 408. This this like reminds me of a 400 IM or something. <laughs> the other way around. Uh, Look at Fraser's hackles are coming up. He's getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like this. I guess it's close already. I like it. And then there's a whole bunch just, well, there's four, four over 400. Yeah. And then what's the next page? Can you scroll down there? Can you guys, you can six? also scroll on your, yeah. your screens as well. Oh, I can do that? Or, no, no. no. Um, the family's on, on your phone. You can scroll down, but we'll go, okay. we'll go through. Okay, so top Again, 10. There, so there you go. So 393 down to three. So there's only 30 points in that too. So it's all going to be anybody... Any round can change it. It's going to be good. Yeah, remember, guys, the quicker you answer, the more points you get. So that could be the game changer. So whoever's the fastest in the family with the mouse or with that with the thumbs, get them on the device. because they're. Well, going to only if they're the smartest, though, Rizzo, because you don't want to be picking the wrong answer. True, true. Can't jump the gun. That's right. you got true. to work these tactics out. I've no doubt the families have done that in preparation for today. <laughs> fastest. You got it. All right. We go on to the next round. Yep. So Andy, over to you presenting. Okay, so here we go, round two. Topic, country flags. So question six out of a total 40. So name the country flag here right in front of you, please, faster. Okay, so the options were Malaysia, Liberia, or you have the United States. Which one was it? Three, two, one. Well, Malaysia, all of you, 36. Oh, sorry, 36 got it right. Five got it wrong. Liberia. So it was Malaysia. So 36. Well done, everyone. The faster you hit that, the more points. Okay, next okay. question, please. Here we go. Question seven. Name the country flag. Here we go again. Okay, options. Nigeria, Ivory Coast, or India? Nigeria, Ivory Coast, or India? Nice symbol in the middle. like that one. Three, two, one. Time's up. Hey. Yeah, nailed it. Two people got it wrong. So there's 42 families, is yeah. that correct? How come we've got extra families all of a sudden? Are we all playing behind the scenes, no? <laughs> we've got 43. My hands are here. <laughs> Someone might be in. 
Dave Thompson Elon then no. <laughs> <laughs> so just if there is more people on, we can only take one family, one device per family. So make sure that you're only using one device per family. Mm. I'm not sure what happened. There. Or are these That's all the same country flag? I take it I don't have to really introduce it every time because everyone's going to see is it just all flags the whole thing well let's see Frieza. what's the next okay. question okay. you have to keep you on your toes you have to do some work <laughs> it's showing up late and then demanding <laughs> you know, I, I, started seven. I really did okay name the country flag i like that symbol in the middle look at that trident symbol that represents serious water stuff trident yeah trinidad and tobago antigua or barbute barbuda yeah. I'm, I'm barbuda <laughs> And then the last one, Barbados. Three, two, one. You're lucky they can read, Brazo. Okay. So Barbados, most of you. Um, my screen is in front of that, so I can't Okay, see. that's the biggest uh, differences I think we've had this round. So that could be a big game changer for folks. Yes, we'll have to get somebody to help us with behind the scenes the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, ready Brazo? Yeah, next question. Okay, question nine. You in the country flag. Three interesting colors. Here we go. Gambia, all the G's. Gambia, Ghana, or Guinea. Hmm, what's it going to be? Hmm. I'm going to go. They are very, very fast tonight. I'm saying families, disgusting. What's it going to be? Ooh. Yeah, Gambia. Another 22. good spread. 22 people. You got it right. 13 wrong. 13 got Guinea wrong and six got Ghana wrong. Okay, next question, please. Are you sure you're ready? Yep. Question 10. <clears throat> Five. Three more colors. I know this one. Okay, options, Bolivia, Senegal, or Lithuania. Yep, wine and wine. Think breaststrokers. Mm-hmm, me too. Of course you are, Andy. Straight there. The minute I seen it, I was like, I know that one. <laughs> and yes, ah. 22 pick Bolivia, 10 Senegal, 29. Got it right, Lithuania. Good so job. we were thinking of Ruta Malatuti for any of you breaststroke fans. The Lithuanian... Uh, previous world champion, world record holder. Yeah, coached by John Rudd. Yeah. So here we go. Next question, please. Um, th I think we're moving on to the leaderboard now. Oh, right. Okay, perfect. So let's, let's see where we're at. Any changes? No. The Byrne family from Dan Alban. Don't think the O'Sullivans were in third last time. So no. they've moved up. Mm, nice. Friend Trident still in the mix. Uh, Whitaker's still Lube, Half Moon as well. Water Polo Club there in fourth place. I think they moved up as well, haven't they, since the last round? That's the Half Moon, yeah. That's the Water Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 770. So a good jump. Um, still very close. Not much in it. So the Burn family still in the lead after two rounds. Okay. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Okay, well done. I think we might see some more uh, mixtures now as the, as the quiz goes on. So Andy, you are up presenting again. So maybe okay, you might have right. some different questions this time. Okay, no problem. You ready? Yeah. Okay, round three, geography. Happy days. Definitely my week's spot. This is going to be good. This is going to be good, geography. Okay, question 11 now. Question 11, here we go. What is the capital of Canada? What is the capital of Canada? Quick, quick, quick. Options. Toronto, Vancouver, or Ottawa. Here we go. Five seconds remaining. Capital of Canada. Show all have answered by now. Hands up. Yep. All got it. Good job. Okay, next question. Let's see if we can go all greens on these. Let's see if we can go... <laughs> 100% every single family. Next question, how no many- No pressure. How, the EU has how many member countries? Great question. The EU has how many member countries? This is a trick one now for Very everybody. topical. <laughs> it is. Here we go. 
Oh, this is separated a few. 12 wrong, 29 right. 20, yeah, total, 29. Nice. Nice job. Nice well job. done. I wouldn't have, had a, wouldn't have had a clue. Question 13, <laughs> some say 13 unlucky. I think it's extremely lucky. India has the largest population in the world. India has the largest population in the world. Simple truth versus false. What do you think, Andy? No. False. False. Okay. Mm. Yeah, China has the largest population. Yeah. Thinking about the Chinese, you're right. Yeah, so 1.4 billion China almost have, and then India are the next biggest, and then the US. So don't feel too bad if you, if you thought they were. They were they're close. <laughs> Oh, so seven wrong, 34 right. Okay, next question, please. How many countries start with the letter L? Oh. Not E-L, just L. How many countries start with the letter L? Options 10, 9, or 8? It's going to be a shit in the dark. Maybe Thompson thinks four. <laughs> oh, another split. So 11 picked 10, six picked eight, and the majority picked nine. Nice job. Well done. Four in total. I don't know. I was, yeah. I was Educated guesses, I'm guessing there. <laughs> yeah. Down, That's this a tough one. Be, uh, this one could be really interesting. This could separate a little bit of um there's been a split, you know, there's been a nice two or three questions there with real, real nice splits. Okay, next question, please. I think we've got one, two more. One more, this is the last one of this round. 15. So what is the largest country in the world by area? What is the largest country in the world by area? Options, China, which we just talked about, Russia or Canada? I know this from my risk playing days as a child. <laughs> wow. They got it. They've got to have some risk board game players out there then. <laughs> Tricky one, some people. Yeah, that's the that was the option there. Look, everyone would have everyone kinda knew Canada know. But China and Russia, but you said you said on the map, it's huge. Okay, good stuff. So that's that round. Um is that back to you, Gronia? Going on so, the leaderboard now, I think. Yeah. I got my cameras up so I can see your reactions. Who's going to be yeah. top three, guys? I'm going to hit gallery. I'm going to find the burn family here and see what's happening. <laughs> okay. So I'll leave you guys do it and then I'll kick. Let me know when you're ready. Will I go? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So our yeah. leaderboard is in. Yeah. Oh, new first so there, place. There oh, is. Okay. The Whittakers are in first place from ESB. Then we have the burn family from Glenalbin. They led for the last two rounds. Then we have the Craig Kukuala. I don't know uh, if I'm Cullen, I think. Cullen. okay. Yeah. And then the Luby family from Half Moon, followed by the Ryans from Trident, the Fires from Sunday's Well. I'll go top 10 again. We also have, oh, two Sunday's Well families there, six and seven, with only four points separating them. The question is, if one of the Sunday's Well teams gets a prize, are you going to share it with the other? I'll leave that up to you to decide. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the O'Grady's from Trident, Trident Emma McLashen, and then another uh, Sunday's Well family there in 10th place at the moment. So we have three Sunday's Well families at top 10 at the moment. So moving on to round four. Everybody ready? Guess the lyrics. All right. This is one for the young guys then. You better get close to that phone. Okay, first one. I'm living in the 21st century doing something mean to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen do it. Is I feel it... like you should have to sing this, Ronnie. I just sort of feel like that when I was saying that, but no, I can leave that to you if you want. Jay-Z or Kanye West. Come on, guys, kids, what you got? I'm clueless. Clueless. Oh, oh. Nice. 50 50. I mean, he's did well. 
25 people got it right. Yeah, 25 and then 16, said JC. Okay, moving on to the second one. I'm not going to be singing, so just so you know. But if anybody wants to sing, you're more than welcome. <coughs> Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. Beth, over to you if you want to sing it. <laughs> oh, I don't know that one. So I just don't know the tune. So. Okay, maybe the next one. <laughs> if you're lucky, then Beth will sing the next one. <laughs> I don't know if that's lucky or unlucky. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, very so good. 36 said Rolling Stones and five said Guns N' Roses. Rolling Stones is the correct answer. Well done. Yes. So yeah, we we'll definitely have to sing the next one. I think, it, I think it should be standard that the host... If you know a Brazo, you can sing too. No, I don't. Let's, let's I don't see, know. what we got, what we got? I don't know the lyrics okay. or anything. That's well, funny. you can give it a shot. Like, Remember, if you this is live on YouTube, by the way. Oh, I know this one. Here. Okay, off you go. <laughs> Oh, why am I singing? My lover's got humor. She's the giggle at a funeral. I could hope. Your... Your... <laughs> I mean, <it's> a... <laughs> dead giveaway. <laughs> awesome. Well done. So 34 people got it right. Unfortunately, six didn't. So, Jose is the correct answer. I think this might be our final one of this one, is it? Or maybe we have two more. Two more. Two more. We've still got a chance to make it as a singer. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Hmm. Just in two. Oh, I think I know this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Right. I think everybody will get this one. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so well done. That isn't a tune that sticks in your head, so. It is. So that one might even out the leaderboard again, but I think the last couple would have shook it up a bit, and we have one know. more. It's a tough yeah. round. Here we go. Well, I think the kids. It's the final. <laughs> we clawed, we chained, we chained our hearts in vain. Lady Gaga or Miley Cyrus. Mm. Uh, I actually knew this one. Yeah. My girl Denise was singing this the other day. Come on, kids. Get it in. Quick. Yeah. Oh. 31. 31 and 9. Everyone's singing it. When they read it, does everyone sing it like me in their head? <laughs> Come they, on, give us a tune then, Andy. You sing it here now out loud. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I hope we have another uh, music round just to get some more singing going. Uh, let's, let's move on. Right. Okay. Good, Ryan. Let's see this. All right. Oh. oh. All right. Oh, we're, we're oh, the fours have made it in top three. Where the burns at? Where the burns at? All right, I'll go down to top six or top ten, will I? That's how much it is, look. Oh, Sullivan's into the top ten. So let's see, 1,370 is tenth position. What's the third What's third position's points there, Grania? Uh, 1,504, that's close. It is. Guys, and it's within lost. your reach. So ESB Whitaker's right. Okay, so they're uh, about 19, what, well, yeah. 19 ahead. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Collins, keep up the good work. So you guys got to try and stay in the top three. Everyone else, you're chasing them. So as well, if you think of who was in our top three, the last round compared to this round, it only took a round to kind of completely shake things up. Top 10? Yeah. Never mind. Never mind top three, top 10. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Remember, remember, you can see where you are by scrolling down on your phone yeah. if, if you're not in the top 10, guys. I just went to the top 10, but you just keep scrolling down there. Yeah. Okay. Andy, are you ready? Yes. I was just checking our fun fact, uh, you know, the wee sheet thing. With all the <laughs> I don't know all what right, you're talking Andy. about, Andy. <laughs> We're moving on. Next round. <laughs> God, what are you on about? You arrive late. Then come out with it. Oh, good yeah. round, Andy. You'll know loads of facts on this. It's going to be great. All right, let me get rid of the gallery thing. Okay, round five: aquatics at the Olympics. Aqu 
aquatics, which represent water polo, synchronized swimming, um, swimming, diving. What else? Open water swimming. Open water swimming. I'd say. That's it. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Question 21 of 40. So here we go, 21 to 25. How many athletes represented Ireland in the aquatic sports at the Rio 2016 Olympics? Was it three, four, or five? How many athletes represented Ireland in the aquatic sports at Rio 2016? Okay, here we go. Okay, so a total of 19 of us got it wrong, 21 right. Wow, that was close. Great question, great question. That's gonna, that's gonna definitely completely change things. Super, can't wait for the next one. Next question, please. Question 22, here we go. Andrew Bree represented <laughs> Ireland at which Olympic Games? Two answers, get ready. 2000, 2004, 2008, or 2012? Don't give it away, Andy. Keep your mouth shut. I have got my still poker face. I'm not even... <laughs> you didn't Three, expect two, that question there, Andy, did you? Did they get it? Oh! oh. <laughs> All right. Nice. So think about it. That was 21 years ago. I swam in 2000. Missed 2004 by 0.2 of a second. Swam in 2008. That was the semi-final. That was, that was my, my favorite memory. And then didn't swim in 2012. So well done, everyone. 31, you got it right for the 08, 12 for the 2000. And then There's a lesson for you. Came back of fighting. Us, 28 of us missed it out. Okay, good. Okay, next question. Great, great uh, surprise there. Thank you, Swamara. <laughs> so also, Andy, you know this, this question could completely change the leaderboard. So they could also be blaming you in a couple of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why didn't you make 2004 Olympics, Andy? <laughs> the Andrew Bree ones out there that got it right. That might boost you up the leaderboard. I hope it does. I hope it does. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yep. Okay, next question. Question 23. Where did Oliver Dingley place in the men's springboard event in Rio 2016? Where did Oliver place in the men's springboard, Rio 2016? Sixth, eighth. Or 10th. Okay, think about it. Did you watch it? Can you remember? 6th, 8th, or 10th. All done. Here we go. Time's up. And 24 of us got it right. 8th was correct. And then 16 of us thought it was either 6th or 10th. Okay, good question. Well and done. So well Ollie done. made it through to the semis and then placed 8th in the final, which was huge for Ireland. After many years without a diver. Well done, guys. You got that right. Good job. Next question. Okay, last two questions now in this round. Aquatics. Swimmer Ellen Kane has competed in how many Paralympic Games? Options one, two, or three. And almost all answered, 38 in, one more, two more, and done. Okay, good. Let's see what we get. How many Paralympic Games? And the answer is three, of course. 18 of us got it right. And 23 of us got it wrong. So that's not often. Um, Swim Ireland families, that, this happens more wrong than right. So interesting. Yeah. Next so question. Alan... Ellen was only 13 at her first Paralympic yeah. Games. Wow. So can you imagine that? Any of you 13-year-olds out there stepping up for your first Paralympic Games? And then in Rio, she ended up winning a bronze medal. So pretty cool. And she'll be on track now for the next one. Unreal. Four Olympics. Okay, next question. Final question of this round. Final question. Here we Here go. Here we go. Who won the men's water polo event at the London 2012 Olympic Games? Come on, water polo fans. Croatia, Italy, Serbia. 30 of us have answered. Almost 40. Croatia, Italy, Serbia. Done. Everyone's getting it in before the timer. Good. And the answer is Croatia. 26 of us got it right. And then we joined it out with Italy and Serbia, both seven families so 14 in total getting it wrong on the italy and serbia 
of Croatia. Have you ever seen those guys in real life, Gronja or Beth? Have you seen the men's water polo players in real life? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, six, I'm six foot six and I look tiny, right? They're, they're at least average six eight and their shoulders are here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so that's that for that next round. We're back to you, Gronja, to check. Let's pull up the leaderboard and let's see what's happening. This should be really interesting. Oh. Here's the leaderboard. ESB. Oh. Holding yeah. strong. Yeah. yeah. Mooney Chum, Mooney bringing that conic through. And Her. there we have the daisies from Sunday as well. Daisies, maybe? Daisies. Daisies, okay, we'll go with that. And then the walls in fourth place from Sunday as well. So two of our Sunday as well family stepping up there. The Louis then in fifth place from Half Moon. The O'Hara's from Marlins. Uh, the Fires from Sunday's Well, the Ryans, the O'Grady's then again. So two Trident families. We've got three Sunday's Well families in the top 10, two Trident families. So good mixture there. Good job. Good job. Very close as well from, from five, five to 10. You know, there's only mm. 700 points. Moonies, that's good. Getting up there in the third. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Still anyone's good. game. It sure is. Okay. Moving on to the next round. So we're on to round six. Andy, you're up again. Disney, oh, Disney movies. movies. Okay. Whoa. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> Disney movies. All right. Here we go. Question 26 of 40. Come on, kids. In the movie Toy Story, what game does Slinky play? Chess, checkers, or Scrabble? Oh, God. Toy Story, what game does Slinky play? Chess, checkers, or Scrabble? All 40 have now answered. Three, four, two, one. And the answer is, everyone gets it almost correct. 32 checkers. I didn't have a clue. Scrabble, three people got it wrong, and six. Well Oops. done, Disney buffs. I feel like his butt would get in the way of any board game. <laughs> <So he's>... <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay, next question coming up. Let's have a look. Question 27. There's only 10 left after this, families. 10 left. What animal does the Sultan's throne resemble in Aladdin? What animal does the Sultan's throne resemble in Aladdin? Tiger, monkey, or elephant? 30 have answered. Last two, three, and done. Here we go. What do you think? I'm going to say monkey. Tiger? Wow. Oh. <laughs> We're <getting> wrong. <laughs> Well done. I see more in family. Arms going up. You've obviously got that one right. Well done. Okay, so next question. That was, a, that was an interesting one. Question 28. Which Disney princess makes a surprise appearance in the Hunchback of Notre Dame? Disney princess, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Cinderella, Ballet, or Belle? Snow White. <laughs> 33 answered. 40 in. Here we go. I have no clue. Me neither, actually. <laughs> oh, oh Belle. Okay. okay, you do have a clue, guys. <laughs> Another split again. Sevens with Cinderella and Snow White wrong. 27 with Belle. Next question. I wouldn't have a... Disney round would have ended me if my family <laughs> were playing this. But I just went... Straight to the bottom. Done. Here we go. What animal is the nursemaid to the children in Peter Pan? What animal is the nursemaid to the children in Peter Pan? Cat, dog, or horse? Cat, dog, or horse? All answered. Here we go with five seconds to go. What do you think, Ronya? I know this one. And oh, so do God. they. It is a dog, a St. Bernard, no less. Big cuddly St. dog. Bernard. Okay, I think this is the last Disney question coming up. 20, yep, question 30. With 10 more to go, family, so keep in there. Here we go. Money and vouchers and all that stuff, ready, ready to win. Which princess is known for wearing a green dress? Okay, Mullen, Rapunzel, or Tiana? Ooh. Hmm. I think I know this one. Time's up. 
Answer is Tiana, 35 majority with a split of three on Rapunzel and three on Mullen. So, wow, good job, 35. Okay, let's pull up that leaderboard, see what's happening. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Now I'm only talking, what, 14 points difference? Nice. ESB have dropped the second. Mooney still in third. And the Daisy family from Sunday as well. Wow. Interesting. Well done. They, they must know the Disney. Nice. I've no doubt the kids are helping. We're helping out in that round. A hundred percent. What do you think, Gronya? They were good, good scene there. So there's their top six. Um, will I go down to top 10 so that we can? Yeah, 100%, yeah. So 1928 finishes down to eight. See, there's nothing in it. Look, from six to 10, 28 down to 40. Yeah, there's nothing in it. So, and so, still similar names. Is anyone new there? Is the Wall family from Go Down There? Is the Wall Sundays? Are they, are they new? No, yeah. they've been in it the last time. There. I don't actually. The Killins from Clomel, is their top, first time in top 10? I think so. Yeah, and right there, like I said, families these are all very close and 10 questions to go. So they are. Uh, so make sure that you answer if you know the answer as fast as you can because that will build up more points as well. Huge advantage yeah. you can get this there. This is yeah. where it comes to play. Just go with your first instinct. It's usually the right one sometimes. Two more. Yeah. Two more. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's so wrong. Yeah. I said horse on that one when it was a dog. That last Disney thing, I didn't know. I just thought horse. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, we'll so move on to the up. round seven. Yep. So this is a sports sports grounds. Okay. Lords something grounds host what sport? Polo, cricket, or bowls? Holy God, they're fast. I could make an educated guess on this one. Yeah. I don't actually know. Really fast. But by the time I looked down at the number, it was already... Gone. What's <laughs> <laughs> the fastest one yet? I think I know as well. Middle taking one. our advice well. Yeah, everyone knows. Uh, that was my guess, but I, I honestly know nothing about cricket. So that's just a wee teaser. Watch for the next one. I bet you it's crazy. Yeah, but we've eased into it now. Let's see. Next question. Here we go. Oh, yes. Roland Garros hosts okay. what sport? You know it. Lacrosse, soccer, and tennis. You know this one, Andy? Mm -hmm. involves... That's pretty fast as well. They are really fast. I think they... Yeah. yeah. There we go, tennis. Very good. Correct answer. So 40 people said tennis, one person, one family said lacrosse, but tennis is correct. So the yeah. league is pretty similar then. Well, it depends on how fast, you know, yeah. if, you're, if you're getting in there like 10 or 20 in front of someone else, like that's big points. That's bigger points, right? So they only have 15 seconds to answer, but yeah. But if they're getting in in like the first three or four seconds ahead of someone coming in at 10 seconds, that's like that's a good margin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fenway Park hosts what sport? I know it. I, I've been. I'm not, I know it. I know it. I know it. Rugby, yeah. American football, or baseball? Here we go. What do you think, folks? Anyone got any American connections? Uh -huh. Come on. <laughs> Irish are all over America. Yes, they know it. Boston, right? Uh -huh. Boom. Beautiful. So baseball is the correct answer. Um, you said rugby. You said rugby. You, said rugby. <laughs> you haven't given them the tip before they picked it. That's why. Yeah, but that could have made them say American football. No, that's that's true. Tip. no. Uh -huh. We've got some. Some of these young kids are still up and playing. Fair play to you. I see Ella Doyle there. Okay. You fighting that sleep? Here we go. Hey, Ella. Alexander <laughs> Palace hosts what sport? Cycling, snooker, or darts? They're fast with this one too. We've got 36 in already. Alexandra Palace. I think I'm going to go with Snooker. <laughs> the correct answer is Darts. Better known as the Ali Pally for any dark fans like myself. 27. <laughs> 
OK, we'll move on to the final question of this round. So there in itself, that question will shake things up again, which mm -hmm. will be interesting. So one more question of this round. So we're getting close now. We're nearly there. St. Andrews hosts what sport? We know it. We know it. We know it. We know Golf, it. tennis, judo. 37 answer within eight seconds. If anyone picks judo, I'm <laughs> right, losing down my Zoom. <laughs> they, no one, no one. What do you mean? You've only been here about 10 minutes, oh, so there we go. Yet. You're Golf. all safe from the grips of Andy Brady. <laughs> so, is there some families that have missed like questions? Like, I think there was only 41 stage. Is there some that don't answer? No, I've no. seen 43, but I don't think I've seen less than 41. Okay. No, either have I. Although, there could have been people that missed. Yeah, that would have mean that they uh, didn't fit, like answer within the 15, 15 seconds. seconds yeah. yeah. Okay, so on to the right. leaderboard. This is this will be telling now. We're going into the last this round, will. folks. Here we go. Oh, wait, there's no leaderboard. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> okay. So there, there is no leaderboard there. So we're just going to keep you in suspense for oh, another yeah. little while. You got to fight for it, guys. When you're swimming down the pool or you're playing water polo, you just got to go with your instincts. You got to fight to the at last question. Close. <laughs> yeah. Be close. Here we go. We just want to build the suspense even more. Yes, the movie. Guys, come on. COVID's, COVID's been near here nearly a year. We've all been watching too much TV. So let's get the brains focused. <laughs> get ready. Okay. Are we ready? Andy, you're presenting. So oh, you're right. on. Okay, something just came on my computer, some Java command. I don't know. Oh, that's just that. me, is, it? is that you? <laughs> what are you doing, mate? All right, technical difficulties, folks. Again, adding to the Here we suspense. go, here we go. We're, we're back, we're back, we're back. Let me just get rid of this. Okay, name the Harry Potter movie. That's just so many Harry Potter fans out there. Name the Harry Potter movie. Okay, here we go. Order Phoenix, Half Blood Prince, or Deathly Hallows Part One. Okay, here we go. All 41 answered. Three, two, one. And the answer is, of course, Half Blood Prince. 15 split it well up there. 13 wrong on the Order of Phoenix. 13 wrong on Deathly Hallows. How many Harry Potter fans have we got here? Well, only 15. We Obviously. Yeah, we're we're gonna have to figure out something there. The the quiz just skipped the question, but I'm sure we'll get yeah. back. Don't worry, we've got extra questions. Don't panic. We'll figure it right. out. So someone was kicked out there, maybe at the bottom. I don't know what just happened there. I don't know. Hope not. Anyway, okay. So next question. Sorry. Right. Yeah. So question thirty-eight. Nice. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty to go. Family says it. Name the Toy Story movie. Okay. Toy Story 2, 3, 4. All, everyone's answered with eight seconds to go. Good job, Toy Story fans. Toy Story's all over this game tonight. 3, 2, 1. And the answer is 3. Oh. three 35. Look at that. Huge jump. Huge jump in numbers. So 1 got 4. And Five got two. Okay, next question. Nearly finished here. Family's getting close. We, we may. 39. Two more. Okay, name the Indiana Jones movie, an absolute classic. Indiana Jones, the guy in the middle with the cap on is called Shorty. Okay, which one is it? Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of the Doom. This is going to completely flip it now because all the older generation are going to know and the kids are going, who's Indiana Jones? <laughs> Oh, oh. Okay, guys, that question that it skipped, we can't go back. So this is, everything's counting now on this last question. Is it one more question, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So take a deep breath. Get ready. Remember, the faster you answer it, the more points you get. That's going to be the difference on this last one. Let's see. Okay, we go. okay are you ready? Okay. Here we go, families. Question 40, final question. Name the James Bond movie. Nice. 
Skyfall, No Time to Die, or Casino Royale. 15 answered, 28 answered, 35 answered. Oh, Many. Cool answers. What do you think, girl? There we go, done. Is Skyfall? This Skyfall? Skyfall? Yes. 35 families. Nice job. No Time to Die it's for two in Casino Royale. Six families picked that. So that was a tough one. But the majority, well out there with Skyfall. Good job. So before... Please tell me, have you got the finale finale? Did we have any wee drums or sound effects or... Yeah, we do, actually. Uh, Gran, you remember you'll have to skip like halfway into that. I know. Um, I just cannot get it up without unsharing my screen. Oh, oh well. <laughs> okay. Uh, Andy, can we get some acoustic drums, please? <laughs> no, go on, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Well, remember, if there's any tiebreakers, guys, we go to a, a penalty shootout of questions. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, don't okay. panic if you're if you're tied with anyone. So we're looking at those top three spots for those top three prizes. Everyone's done a good effort, though. Let's not. What do you think? That. Okay, first of all, girls, girls, girls. Who do you think? I think. I'm thinking he is might have or Mooney family because I gave them good energy at the start. Might have just come through and won it. I think the Whitakers are definitely going to be in that top three because they were holding firm throughout yeah. the rounds. And I would agree with you with the Moonies and I think third's up for grabs. Ronya? Um, I think the Whitakers as well. I also think the Lubies there could potentially pop yeah. in. Yeah, right. they've been in and out. Yeah. Um, A wild card? Any wild cards? The Fars maybe? Fars have been yeah. good? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a, the families from Triton as well are in around there. So there is a few. There is a few. Okay. We're obviously the families are like, okay, get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> I we can see, see everybody in gallery view. Um, so I don't know if you can see their reactions. I can see them. I'm looking. Yeah. They're all very eager on the edge of their seats. Oh, yeah. well, okay. I might just do that instead of looking at the answer. I don't know who the answer is. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Okay. All so, right. Here we go. Lo loading the uh, leader. <laughs> in first place um winning the thousand euro center white park voucher is wow. the esb the whittigers which I think all three of us kind of predicted there didn't we well um, done well let done me just take this off the screen for a second then in second place winning the 500 euro swim gift voucher are the dz's from sunday's well Excellent. Well nice. Sorry, and we then, didn't believe in you, Deezies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you proved us wrong. Well done. <laughs> it is very hard to think when you're on the spot. Yeah. And then in third place uh, is the Mooney family from Toom. Um, and you're winning Woo! a 250 euro voucher, Tater Park voucher. Um, so well done. And I know that um, Vincent Finn is at home, so supporting the, uh, the Connacht team. So he'll be delighted. I got a message <laughs> from him there earlier, as well as uh, all the other support officers. So well done to ESB, the Whitakers in first place, the Deezies in second place, and the Moonies in third place, and to all our other uh, families who participated tonight and came on. Well done to everybody. You had a great job, and we really enjoyed hosting. So thanks on behalf of myself, Beth, Andy, and Sam Ireland. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, well done, guys. Well done, well done. Thanks for an entertaining Friday night. <laughs> Well done to everyone. Just there as well, if the Whitakers, the Deezies and the Moonies, um, if you can just stay on the line and stay on Zoom 